Oh my good god. Ah! No! No! Ah! Ada! Ada, he was full of, 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 of bugs. It is just another Tesla cannon. Nice. <laughs> now we have two. I should have brought a Tesla cannon to the Tesla cannon fight. Darn it. Ahoy there. My name is Wifey Well, but you may call me Wifey. And today we're back playing some more of Fallout 4. Uh, last episode, we completed two quests from the new update. Both Pyro, which took all of two minutes, and then the Crucible. Got another set of power armor, and I wanted to welcome you all to my power armor junkyard. I am going to get these put somewhere and get something done with them. Now that I've accumulated, like, what, five sets in the last few episodes, but for now we are going to do the final quest that was dropped with the new update and that is best of three it says to listen to vault tech distress signal Hmm, I can barely hear. I think I heard gunshots and a guy saying they're going to kill me. I can't hear anything else. That's very tough, but investigate the distress signal coordinates. Well, where are they? You're not showing me anything on the map. What? You piece of crap. Let me look all over for it then. All right, found it. Close to the Enclave camp that we're supposed to do as well. Uh, I think we might have to go to the Hobbyist Club again. I'm also seeing this as like on the outskirts of the Glowing Sea? Question mark? I'm thinking this might be the Rad. And... It might be okay, might might barely be okay to go there without my power armor because as you guys know, I don't like to wear it. I guess we'll start here though. Ah, ah, Lord, help. Why does it always say, hey, let's start her on those damn radiation barrels? Oh, God. <laughs> Maybe I should have worn my freaking power armor. Oh, there is no rest for the wicked, right, Ada? I need to try and get, like, another fast travel point opened up down here, apparently. So, uh, let me go toward... Well, there was a tree. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Let me go toward this tree symbol. Hmm. There's nothing. Nothing yet. Oh, is this like for a park? A tree for a park? I need to be looking for mines and stuff. Barrel Gold Stalker. Um, I don't really want to get into any combat. I am just here to, uh... Have a jolly old time. Robotics Pioneer Park. Ada, don't wake anyone up. Get over here, Ada. Do not start shooting, Ada. Okay, so that got us a little... Uh... Just ignore it. It's fine. That got us a closer fast travel spot. Thank goodness. No, not caps. Tap. Goodness. 
while we run here, I would like to say thank you for everyone that sent me well wishes um, as I was sick. Um, I'm also sorry if I sounded a little off the last two episodes. I recorded um, Tuesday's episode. No, Thursday's episode before I was like completely croaky and then Saturday's episode after I was completely croaky. So they were still a little off. I might even still sound a little off right now, but I'd say I'm 95% better. But my point is I really appreciate it, you guys. Uh oh. Another black bloat fly. Careful, ma'am. I don't think we're alone. No, don't do the head. Alright, at this point, just start shooting. It's fine. Don't waste your critical on the bloat fly, though. That would be extremely dramatic. Now, if it was a spider, though, acceptable. I hear gunshots. Oh, it's just the freaking brotherhood. No, I'm Gucci. This is fun right here. This is fun right here. Eh, maybe. Eh. Hello. Going for a leisurely Sunday drive, eh? I guess not anymore. Uh oh, oh god, is the car shaking? Get off. That is terrifying. Forget about it. Although I feel like I saw something. Oh, just a mining helmet. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, quit getting distracted. I'm sorry, you guys. Go toward the objective. There's a vault here, a vault symbol. It shows the marker over this way. There's a vault. Hmm. The H is that blinding me. Gunners. Assault drawn. Ah. Uh, it shows the thing is this way, though. Maybe that's not the right vault. What are they doing? Ugh! A flying assaultron. Several assaultrons over there. Ada, I hope you're ready for a battle. Thinking that might not be the right vault. What? What? Oh no. Oh. That was really cool. Where'd the other one go? Why'd the other one retreat? Yeah, go get him, Ada. How dare they sneak up on me and act like they hadn't originally seen me. Oh no, well, I guess we're gonna unlock this vault location. Oh, oh god, not an assault run. Ah, I gotta get my, my skills up with this. Because I feel like I do better without bats. Oh, geez, Louisiana. That was not a fun time. Again, this is why the quick save was invented. Um, well, I guess we better take care of this now before we go back that way. Because apparently it's just going to become an issue. Oh. 
Oh, I love it. Oh, may as well turn my light on since I'm found. Well, I guess, granted, it did say caution. So, I think that was the first time I've seen, like, the killer Assaultron attack that I have been warned about. It was very terrifying. What a treat, though. I don't want it to happen again, but what a treat. Vault 95. Hmm... I don't think I've heard anything about Vault 95. Did that say Legendary Gunner? It did, didn't it? Damn it. Alright, are we good? Penetrating Assault Rifle ignores 30% of the target's damage and energy resistance. This is such a big, bulky gun. Are you sure you don't leave anything useful behind? I'm not going to take anything right now. I don't even know if we need to be here. I mean, it's, I'd say it's safe to assume this is where we're going to end up in a minute, but we need to follow that map marker. A telephone just casually walking around with a cell phone that would be interesting in Fallout to have a cell phone oh we have boo-boos let's take care of those and I guess let's quick save since we didn't perish that time Ninety-four. Maybe we don't need to be at that vault at all. Hmm. It's very spooky this way. But it does look like we're avoiding the glowing sea, which is good. I wasn't panicking. I definitely didn't see them though. Am I looking for like a dead body or something? Oh. Vault 95 Gunner. Completed. Investigate the distress signal coordinates. Search the gunner for evidence. I think it said of what happened. Gunner holotape. Uh... Instructions for Crane. Hmm, access the gunner's pet boy. Crane, against my protestations, Sarge wanted me to give you a copy of the newest back door for the pet boys. Instead of going through the current OS, it accesses a lower level of code within the device. Once it does that, something quite interesting happens. Ah, uh, I'm wasting my time. All you need to do is pull the plug from the back of the pit boy carefully this time. Then simply insert it into any pit boy, provided the plug is removed and the backdoor program should do the trick automatically. Once inside, you can pull data from any pit boy you find. Coordinates, logs, you name it. Sarge is hoping that if we find any vault dwellers in the field, we'll be able to locate more vaults through their pit boys. You know what that means. Ah uh, hell, knowing you, you'll probably end up leading the vault dwellers to us, rather than the other way around. I hope Sarge knows what he's doing. Huh. So it says I can hit space now to download download <laughs> download the Pip Boy data. Hmm. 
Ooh. Alt Tech Hack 1.2. Uh, there's a lot of corrupted data. There's one thing that's not corrupted. Is there no point in trying to access the corrupted stuff, I assume? Yeah, it just backs you out. Okay. So, let's do this one then. So, investigate the Gunner Pit Boy coordinates. Holy crap, where to start? I'm just glad I have this thing to write it all down. We've been locked down in this vault for weeks now. I've been bored as hell, and the games on these things got old. Fast. It was fun putting notes saying, kick me on Caroni's back for a while, but next thing you know, Brass says that there's a paper shortage. Also, it's not exactly easy playing a prank on someone who spends all their time in their room. Me and the boys were trying to reprogram the Assaultron to give him a wedgie, but yeah, less said about that, the better. It was then that I remembered Lazansky telling me that he reprogrammed our pit boys for Sarge so we can better track our guys on glowing sea missions. Well, the joke's on you, Lazansky. I found a better use for your stupid program. I've got a few of the squad together and managed to break into the kitchen to take the weak old Mirelurk soup that had been smelling out of the canteen for days. Then we hoisted it by rope over the atrium. After that, all we had to do was watch Caroni walk down the hallway to get his dinner after everyone else had gone to bed. God, I can't even describe my anticipation watching the little Caroni blip move along my pit boy screen. By the time the blip appeared in the atrium, I lifted my head and there he was completely unaware that he was going to smell like a dead Mirelurk in the sun. I told Jones to pull, and the next thing you know, the goop came falling off his head. His face was a effing picture. I swear he was about to cry. Haven't seen him since, and I think Sarge wanted to use these things to track us for the mission tomorrow. Hmm... So, investigate the gunner pit boy coordinates. Oh, shoot, that does look like the glowing sea. Damn. Okay, well, I guess let me go get my suit. Okay, I've got my power armor on. I will say, there are some things I like about the power armor. For one, I feel very safe in it. For two, I uh, like when it's raining and you can see the droplets. And also, I have this super bright headlight mod on now that is just wonderful. I feel like I can see everything. It'd be funny if, like, especially since I just got on a road, if me and another power armor were passing each other and I'm like, hey, and he's like, kill your brights, like when you're driving in a car. I'm the a-hole that has my brights on the whole time. In the power, I mean, not in real life. You guys know what I'm saying. Alright, uh, focus. Back at the Glowing Sea, I can't believe I've gone to the Glowing Sea twice now within the last few episodes after having not gone here at all. It's a very interesting area. Um kind of love it, but I'm also just slightly like, what could I possibly find here? This is a church. Not sure where I'm going. Am I going to the church? Oh. I think I'm going under the church. Hope's March Pentecostal Church. Whoa, what is... Is that like a big rad pooch right here? I don't know what that is. Oh, oh, that's right. Oh my god, that's a lot of red. Um, okay. It's fine. Ada, <laughs> look at Ada. She's like an evil person with a magnifying glass with the ants. Like, yes, come out to my pretties. How do we get in here? That is so many enemy markers. Let me in. I guess you go through the roof then. Well, I'm safe up here.
They're not gone. Looks like they're in here having a rave. Can I fit through here in my big power armor? Oh god, there's still quite a bit. Violence protocols engaged. Engage those violence protocols immediately. Oh, here's one. Uh, we may just have to drop. I'm not really noticing the rest. Okay, let me go to this side. Good thinking, Ada. I'll cover you, Darn it. Alright, let's just drop in like a superhero. Oh, yeah! Um, I got reminded last time we were here at the Going Sea that no, you don't take fall- Oh, God. You don't take fall damage in your power armor, which I thought so, you know, because I've been told to use it while building in case, like, you fall off. Um, but when you do that little stun shake, I thought for a minute maybe I had taken damage, and then I thought maybe I was remembering wrong, and we all know it's impressive that I was remembering something right to begin with, but I do appreciate you guys correcting me and, like, pointing out, no, I was also getting shot. I didn't hear you. Uh, back to what I was doing. Take the dress, too, for my fancy settlers. Vault Tech Overseer t-shirt. Interesting. A lot of pre-war money. Brain fungus. Sure, why not? Oh, is there more? Oh, gosh, there's several more. Oops. Sorry, Ada. I'm kind of distractible. Right in the wiener. wonder if ghouls still even have some. They probably fell off, right? I probably need to just aim for the heads or the legs like I'm supposed to. So, um, I'd like to address the random rad scorpion that decided to wake up. Laser rifle. This is the wrong person. I wanted to do you. Bolstering operator's right arm grants increasing energy and damage damage <laughs> and grants increases energy and damage resistance to lower your health up to plus 35. Goodness, goodness. Okay, I'll look at you in a second. Let me check this rad scorpion. How long had this rad scorpion been in here hanging out with us? He had a bowl. I must have interrupted his breakfast. My bad. Okay, so you died. Rest in peace. Let me download your data. Um, so just one thing that's not corrupted again. Investigate the next signal's coordinates. I better use this thing for something. Maybe a confessional of sorts will make me feel better about what I did. Here goes. Caroni. He never exactly was the ideal mercenary, but we worked well as a team. He was good at all the technical stuff, hacking terminals, getting through automated doors, disabling turrets, and me? Well, I finished the job. It all changed, though, when we signed up for the Gunners. They were paying far more than we could make on our own, so it seemed like a no-brainer at the time. Little did I know what would happen when Caroni was forced to work with people other than myself. When I was assigned to my squad, it was like I had known them for years. We worked well together, and the guys respected me for my marksmanship. But Crony was a different story. He was always an acquired taste, and his shyness frustrated Sarge. It was a mistake to shove a laser rifle into his hands when I knew that his best skills lay elsewhere. I thought when we took the vault, things would change, that he'd come out of his shell. Instead, the opposite happened. It's these damn pit boys. He's obsessed with them. He spends all this time in his room playing these games. Oh my gosh, we're all Coroni, aren't we? I've tried to snap him out of it, tell him that Sarge is going to boot him out of the gunners, or worse, but he always rebuffs me. It's funny. I still beat him in these games, despite him playing them longer than I ever have. If I hear best of three one more time, I might snap. Maybe one day he'll shape up, but I can't wait that long. I've got to do something quickly. I owe him for saving my life. 
This vault is filled with chems, and it's not like they're going to miss a few shots of Psycho. Hmm. Investigate the next signal's coordinates. Are we going to find Caroni? I don't know, but Caroni, I'm probably saying it completely wrong. But the way I'm saying it is making me hungry for some macaroni. So I don't want to spend like a ton of time in here. Office duties, like even that, I doubt we, we need. Um, you know, a lot of these places, they're vanilla. And when I say vanilla, I literally just mean pre before the update. Um, on April 25th, 2024, and I'm sure I'm going to come back here, and I really don't want to waste, even with seeing the safe, I don't want to waste too much time. We already wasted enough time there at the vault. Um, oh, I better go this way to find a way out. There at the vault, fighting the gunners, and then having to load because the assault drawn. On second note, since I found the church safe key, let's go ahead and take all of that. Um, but yeah, leave the note. We'll come back for all that. I'm not going to do that. I literally want to explore the glowing sea thoroughly at some point because it's just such an interesting place. Okay, good. Here's the way out. Poor Ada doesn't know where to go, though. All right, let's do a quick save since we survived that onslaught of ghouls. Airplane, like an airport? Hmm. Floating circle. Flag. Radio tower. Still standing. This is where we have to go. Relay tower, 0DB521. Vault 95 gunner. I keep thinking we're gonna find, um, Caroni. Uh, corrupted, okay. Listen to the gunner signal remnant. I make an emission report here in case anybody comes across my body. If you're unable to identify me, I am Lieutenant Lazansky, Tech Specialist on Salvage Team 20. We managed to locate the wreckage. It's likely intact and survived the crash. That said, we underestimated the hostiles we would likely encounter on our mission. And as a result, two-thirds of the platoon is dead or MIA. It's likely I would have been right there with them if it wasn't for Caroni. I wasn't sure why the sergeant had picked the private to accompany us on the mission, but for a moment I was glad he did. My good feeling was short-lived, however. Despite saving us, Caroni wouldn't respond to orders. The only time he made so much as a peep was when one of our fire team killed a hostile. Every time that happened, Caroni would look anxiously for another mutation to put down. We tried to tell him that every hostile he killed risked us being swarmed once more. He wouldn't listen. It was as if he was determined to get the most kills out of all of us. Did he think this was some kind of game? We didn't hold our position for long. Even Caroni didn't fancy his chances with the two death claws that flanked us. Uh, for once, we agreed on something. We ran to a nearby cave, and it appeared that the beast had lost our scent. It was there we found some kind of pre-war weapon. Now, I had disassembled and reassembled a plasma rifle before, but this was like nothing I had ever seen. We had to get this back to base, but first we had to get some rest. When I woke up, I discovered that not only were all our mintats gone, but Caroni was hunched over the weapon on a boulder. It's, consti it's constituent. Alright, time for another vocab lesson with wifey, because I don't know what this word means. So, constituent means being a part of a whole. Example is the constituent minerals of the rock. I really don't understand why that is necessary just, you know, with parts already there. But 
Anyway, its constituent parts scattered across the rock face. At the time, even with death almost a certainty, I still couldn't let this promotion opportunity go. I tackled Caroni. He fought back. Once the fray started, the rest of the team jumped in. All of us fighting over the weapon. Oh my god. The noise attracted what was left of the glowing sea's population to our position. And soon we were running for our lives once more. To say we weren't so lucky this time was an understatement. I watched the rest of us being torn apart. The weapon? It worked. Caroni fired it mindlessly into the storm. Its effectiveness is clear, but it wasn't enough. The last I saw of him, he was running into the sea, the ribbons of electricity from his weapon slowly growing tinier and tinier in the fog. I got away again. Most of me did, anyway. I'm going to try and use a transmitter to radio for help. But it's only a matter of time now. Oh my good god! Ah! No! 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 What is this? Ah! Ada! Ada, he was full of, 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 of bugs! Holy heck! Oh my god, that was not fun. What a horror game we are playing. Okay. Listen to the gunner signal remnant. That's just what I'm by, right? This? What are we talking about? Listen to the gunner signal remnant. Well, I did his thing. Am I doing something wrong? Sometimes it won't actually show on a map, but gunner, signal, remnant. Maybe it means my radio. Ah. Well, I can't hear it. I think it might be like a, it's going to lead me somewhere. Yeah. Ada, I think, she already knows where we're going. She's like, don't worry, wifey, I got this. Follow me. Especially after I freaked out of the bloat fly. She probably feels like she has to be the leader now. Maybe a good idea. So, I really wonder, are we just getting another Tesla cannon? Because, um, he said, like, ribbons of electricity. Forty-nine point four, fifty ninety-two, fifty-two sixty-three. Uh-oh. Damn. You live this time, Stingwing. This way, is it this? This is a plane. I don't think it's the plane. So we're looking for Caroni. I see a death claw. I get some sneaky sneak damage. Death Claw. Get a little closer. Eh. And that sucked. That was Ada. Sorry, Ada. Didn't mean to shoot you. Oh man, the bloat flies are coming. We may have an 
Okay, I think it's more back this way again. A friendly eye bot, okay. Sure, why not? Wait, it's getting further away. Damn it, what did I do wrong? Uh, I see a lot of powders. Burning ash pile. These are gunner ash piles. Not critter ash piles. I'm sorry guys, I can't hear it, so I'm having to go on the numbers. The robot workbench has enormous potential. Not even 99 Oh, the <laughs> right here. A Vault 95 gunner, is this you? Just a laser pistol, I don't see like a super weapon. Uh, okay. Defeat Crony. Oh no, not poor Crony. Mission accomplished. The aircraft is in pieces, but those pieces are intact. We're about to check inventory, see if we can carry some of this equipment back to Vault 95, until we saw a blue light in the fog. As it grew closer, we raised our weapons. I could hardly believe my eyes. It was that good-for-nothing Crony. It didn't take long to guess why this coward survived. He had something hoisted over his shoulder, glowed brightly. Effer was going to give away our position. I told him to put it down. He didn't. I told him it was an order. He didn't respond. We drew our weapons again and I ordered once more. He stood there and I told my men to approach. As they approached or as they surrounded him, some kind of lightning bolt shot from that thing. Turned felt into ash. We covered the area in bullets, but when the smoke cleared, the son of a bitch was gone. He couldn't go one circuit without tripping over his shoelaces, but now he can disappear in a flash? We darted into the fuselage for cover, and he came at us again. He didn't even take cover as he pursued us, and took out two more of my men. I was as sure as dead, so I leapt at him and hit him squarely on the draw. He fell onto the floor of the cabin. What was left of us joined me in holding him down. We hated the fact that we needed him alive, but Command needed to know what happened out here. Otherwise, I would have shot the bastard myself. Bastard may have put up a good fight, but people like that, even with every advantage, they always lose. Hey. We may have found a man. <gasps> Aye. Yeah, Ada, just get him. Oh my god, I'm so sick and tired of fire. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, just, just lay into him. Just, I don't know. Did I shoot him? I probably shot Ada a lot. Sorry to interrupt. Editing wifey well here. Um, I realized while editing the video that I failed to show where we ultimately found Coroni. So it was right here at Skylanes Flight 1665. Right along this dark mark, here's Vault 95, the church that we visited, and that relay tower. So a bit of a line. It's interesting, I didn't think that we could go past these lines right here. I had assumed they were invisible walls, but nope. Indeed, where you'll end up is right here. Back to the video. Completed defeat Coroni. Pick up Coroni. It is just another Tesla cannon. Now we have two! I should have brought a Tesla cannon 
to the Tesla cannon fight. Darn it. Best of three. So, Caroni, I mean, he definitely got his revenge. I love how he just showed up, though. Okay, just one thing here on Caroni. Oh, time for round two. Menacing. Okay, well, that was best of three then. Interesting. Um, two Tesla cannons with the update. What do we think of that? Because, like, you don't need two. I guess if you want to give one to your companion. Um, interesting. Interesting. But I guess I'm going to head back now to Sanctuary. Put away my spoils. And that is going to be it for this one. So, as always, I hope that you enjoyed. I appreciate you being a well watcher. And I will see you again very soon. Bye.